Planning our US trip was kind of a blur. After getting our tickets, I spent weeks looking through Airbnb listings, communicating with different hosts, and seeing a lot of listings looking like this. We finally found the perfect Airbnbs for us, so we got our suitcases, packed up all our stuff. Side note, enjoy this 30 second packing montage that definitely did not take me the whole afternoon to do, and it's definitely not just my aesthetically pleasing clothes. Was on your face and then I'm from the eighties. Someone keeps blocking my way. I can't feel farther away. Wait on. Finally, I said goodbye to our cats and set my alarm for 4 a.m. the next day. Waking up at 4 a.m. isn't fun, but knowing you're going somewhere definitely helps. Once I was able to drag myself off my pillow, I said goodbye to our cat, Michelin, who by the way is super cute but super annoying since she trampolines onto me at 3 a.m. in the morning. I decided to put on a lip tint for makeup and do my hair. I always choose to curl my hair when I go on long haul flights since I think I look a bit more put together after 15 hours on a plane and not just like I've been through a hurricane. For my outfit, I just decided to wear a black tank top, some loose slacks, a varsity jacket, and my new balance sneakers, which I admit isn't looking too hot as I am editing this video, but with that, I'm ready to go to the airport. I fell asleep once I got inside the car and woke up around 10 minutes before we arrived. Our flight was in Naia, and here's my mom and her best friend and my siblings. Once we got to the airport, they checked our antigen test that we took exactly 24 hours before leaving and we checked in our luggages, which was actually fairly quick. However, unlike before, they had us fill up around 3 forms per person and we were 8 passengers, so as the eldest Asian daughter, I obviously had to fill up all of it. But once that was true, we were so happy that nothing went wrong and the fact that we were going to the US was finally sinking in. We made our way to the lounge where we had box snacks, which was meh and I also had tea. Also, I had my hair color retouched prior to leaving and I feel like one of those Gen Z TikTok girls. I also had my initial piercing replaced the day before which was unexpected since I thought I wasn't going to be able to get it done before leaving but I was so happy with the piercings. I mean, look how cute it is. Once it was boarding time, we made our way to the plane and I cannot tell you how excited we all felt going into that plane. After we sat down, we had to sanitize everything, especially the areas we were going to be touching often. They also provided a cleaning wipe for us, which I think was a really nice touch. I forgot to mention but our flight is with Japan Airlines since this is the flight we got for free using my mom's smiles. Are you okay? Hey MTV, welcome to my seat. So, my seat was actually really spacious and I had a lot of legroom. They also had the buttons for the seat settings and the TV remote under the armrest. They also provided us with a bottle of water which I always end up asking for more because I get so dehydrated on plane rides. This flight is actually a 5-hour flight from Manila to Japan and an hour stopover before leaving for Los Angeles. I haven't actually been to LA in 10 years, so I was really excited to revisit the places I've been to and see relatives I haven't seen in a really long time. But for now, enjoy the view! Once the in-flight services started, I ordered a cold green tea before deciding to get a Chardonnay at around 10am because why not? Their bathrooms are also stocked with toothbrushes, mouthwash, and alcohol which I used so much during the flight. The only meal I had on the flight was soup, prosciutto, and a chicken cordon bleu which was actually not that bad. I also rewatched my all-time favorite movie, La La Land, which I realized was set in LA, which I believe is just a happy coincidence. Once the Chardonnay kicked in, I took a little nap, and when I woke up, it was already landing time. So, hi Japan. Our layover was only an hour, so once we got to Narita Airport, we went straight to the lounge. Here is my younger brother and my two sisters. We drive around to the sky. 
once we got to the lounge which by the way was really nice i ordered a ramen which was so good because japanese food is the best fight me we also freshened up a bit before our next leg of the trip which was gonna be a 10 hour flight to la the plane configuration for the flight was new to us it was this 232 setup which we found weird at first but it was actually really comfy they also gave us this little gift bags with an eye mask, lip balm, toothbrush, and a moisturizing face mask, which I still haven't tried. They also gave us a pair of slippers, which I ended up using at our Airbnb, and I also got another pair at the empty seat beside us, which I used in our Airbnb in San Francisco. This flight definitely had more food options and Japanese food options, which were so good. Once the flight departed, I tried their champagne which was also good and I had their appetizer that came with a steak and it honestly doesn't look that appetizing but it was actually really good. While having dinner or lunch, honestly time is an illusion on long haul flights. Me and my sister watched the Harry Potter reunion which we still haven't finished after almost 3 weeks and I honestly got a little teary eyed. After eating, I forced myself to sleep to beat the jet lag and the blanket was super thick and comfy and here are my feet which I'm not showing again because of all the weird men from my shoe collection video. I woke up after 7 hours of sleep and had a very yummy pork cutlet sandwich. I mean, look how good it looks. Then I brushed my teeth and rehydrated myself with my fourth bottle of water which I had to ask again and again from the stewardess. And I'm honestly surprised she didn't get annoyed at me, or at least she didn't show it. I decided to put on some light makeup to make myself look a little bit more presentable, so enjoy this clip sped up to like 2000%. I honestly got so excited when we got to the airport that I was only able to get a few clips, but hello Los Angeles. Immigration was quick and we went to our carousel to get our luggages before meeting some family and friends who came all the way from Florida and San Francisco. We honestly underestimated how much luggages we brought and it couldn't fit in our 15-seater van, so we had to vacate the entire first row for the luggages and fit 10 people in seats meant for like 6 people max. What you couldn't see here was me sitting in the row in a makeshift seat using my mom's acid reflux pillow. The drive was an hour long, so me and my brother was entertaining ourselves with my new iPhone camera. I only got videos of the rooms in the upper floor of the Airbnb, so here it is. Admire the cinematography, please. So, me and my two sisters shared a room, and it was honestly really big. I decided to unpack my stuff since we were staying here for two weeks and I didn't want to dig through my luggage every time I needed something. This was actually fairly easy to do since I folded all my clothes before leaving so I just needed to take it out. Here's me and my sister trying out a cool transition clip which obviously didn't work out. We had takeout Panda Express which is the first thing we eat when we arrive in the States before going to Costco to stock up on supplies. My family is obsessed with Costco since it has everything you can ever think of and everything is gigantic. I mean look at this bottle of Maggi seasoning. So we stocked up on food, snacks, and drinks. Plus, my mom and my Ninang also bought an air fryer which they're gonna leave with my uncle once we go back to Manila. And here is our family and childhood friend Julian who we haven't seen in two years. Plus, we also spotted the Jollibee which made me really excited for some reason. Our next stop was the Asian Grocery which had a lot of goodies like instant noodles, my favorite, seasoning, and other stuff. And where we stacked up on a lot of soju and sake. Also, this pineapple sake looked really good but it tasted really bad. And this video clip is an exact representation of my last two brain cells fighting over which soju flavor is the best basically Go Princess Diana na halong Freddie Mercury <laughs> These next few clips are super random but it's basically me and my sister testing out how stable the new iPhone 13 camera is since we got our phones the day before we left for the States Yeah. <laughs> 
Take a part all the good things. Say hi to the camera. Hello. Hi. Where are we? Uh yeah. L A. <laughs> America. L A. America. <laughs> We're in Los Angeles. Ah, Ting. Sure? Ah, Yong. Yong. Yeah, something, something, something. What does that mean? I don't know. Please, please, please. Three. Jollibee. Hey. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Ano? 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 Moon. 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 Ano? 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 You eat. I eat. I'm going to order movie. The next day, I woke up early to do a workout, which I admit is one out of the three times I work out during this entire trip. I also fixed my bed, which was a struggle because one side was right beside the wall and I couldn't fix the other side, so my bed sheet was always long on the other side. Also, look how organized our closet was. After lunch, we went to the mall, which I honestly forgot the name of, and I bought this really groovy looking top from Cotton On. My dad also bought Starbucks, and look how gigantic this drink is. We were also fascinated by it. We also went to Target and stocked up on toilet paper and other necessities. For dinner, we went to this really cool hot pot place where you each had your own little hot pot, which I think is a really cool concept. Plus, it's all you can eat, and I had to unbutton my pants after this. Hi, Julian. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Stop after dinner, we stopped at Trader Joe's, and that was basically the end of our night and the end of this vlog thank you so much for watching hope you like this new vlogging format and hope you can subscribe to my channel see you guys in my next one bye